What's going on guys? Mr. AG here bringing you a Pokemon RS Wi-Fi battle. This time it's up against fellow streamer Exception. Make sure you check him out on his Twitch channel. It's The Exception. And he's also got a YouTube, so check it out. Links will be down in the description. So, Exception, this came from a live stream of his. He's running with this coffee. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm stupid. Wheezing! Sorry. Wheezing, he's got the Machamp. He's got the Dawn Fan. He's got the Dragonite. He's got Gardevoir and Charizard. I'm wondering if it's X or Y. Now, I'm running with my standard team of Porygon, Quagsire, Togekiss, but unstandard is my Chatot, and we've got my Landris, and of course, the one and only Chestnut. So, what are we going to do here? One way to find out it's battle, and it's going to be a good one. So, here we go with the exception here. Toy pumped about this. This was on his live stream, and he seems like an all around good guy. So check him out, guys. So we're going to lead off with Porygon 2. Porygon 2 coming out, and he's going to lead with this Charizard. So immediately I'm thinking, okay, I hope this thing does not have Aura Sphere, because if it does, I'm in trouble. So there he goes right now, Mega Evolving to Mega Charizard Y. I'm like, oh, gosh, he might have Aura Sphere. And there's the drought. I'm like, oh, we're probably done. So that's what I'm thinking about, and he goes for the Flamethrower. And at this point, I'm thinking the only reason he would go for Flamethrower is to get that Fire Boost, which means he doesn't have Aura Sphere. So we're going to go ahead and Thunder Wave him right now to force him to be slow, and that's going to be huge key for us. So he's going to withdraw Charizard right now. And, of course, for those that don't know, the point of this team is to paralyze everything. Here comes Hulk. Hulk this big old Machamp. Now, I'm going to recover this turn, figuring that he would stay in, but he wouldn't have been able to do a lot. And I was hoping he would be paralyzed with Charizard. As he switched to Hulk, I don't want to knock off to hit us, so we're going to switch out now. We're going to send out Landorus. Now, the reason we send out Landorus is so we can go ahead and get that Intimidate factor. There's that Intimidation happening, lowering the attack of the Machamp, but he's going to run Dynamic Punch. Now, for those that don't know what Dynamic Punch is, is it confuses you. Ugh! Being confused like that, it's a good strategy, especially if you know your opponent's about to switch out. So, I'm confused. We're going to get a layer of Stealth Rocks up, though, so that's nice. Touching. There's the Stealth Rocks floating in the air, and he's going to run Stone Edge. Now, being a ground flying type, that's not going to do incredible damage, but still, it does a lot. I'm going to be confused. I'm going to smack myself in the head because I don't know what I'm doing. There's the knockoff that I was worried about in the first place. It's going to take us down, knock off my safety goggles, and the sunlight's going to fade. At this point, he's going to bullet punch us, and he's going to knock us out. So now we know he's got a priority move, bullet punch. He's got knockoff. He's got dynamic punch. I don't know what the fourth move is, so that worries me a little bit. We're going to send in Lieutenant, our Chatot, at this point, And we're going to Chatter away. See how much Chatter does, and at this point we realize, crap, it's not going to be enough to two-hit knock him out. And we're hoping he smacks himself here. He's confused. And fortunately for us, he gets the Stone Edge. Actually, unfortunately for us, he gets the Stone Edge off. It's going to take us down to our Focus Sash, and we're sitting here like, okay, do we run a run Chatter again, or do we want to risk it and get a nasty plot off? Because we know he's got Bullet Punch in the back packing. He gets the bullet punch off, and it's going to knock out our lieutenant. So, it didn't matter either way. We are down and out. We were going for another chatter, but that didn't work. So, we're going to send out Toad Kiss now at this point. Now, we know he's got bullet punch, and he's strong, but I'm also bulky. He smacks himself, which is so awesome for us, and we're going to go ahead and air slash this Hulk out of here. So, Hulk gets out of there. Fortunately for us, it's super effective. And immediately, I believe it's... I think it's 4-5 in his favor. And then here comes Weezing, the poison type. Obviously, I don't want to stick around for a lot of attacks from this Weezing. He is going to take some stone damage. Or some stone damage, yeah. We're going to switch out now. And we're going to be a little risky here. We're going to go into Guam. Guam is, of course, my chestnut. And he's going to run Sludge Bomb. Perfect. We've got Bulletproof. It's not going to hurt us. But the reason why I was worried is most Weezings carry Flamethrower. This one in particular did not. Thankfully for us, he's going to run another Sludge Bomb. I don't think he was getting what was going on with Bulletproof. So we're going to get another layer of spikes. That's two layers of spikes immediately. And then at that point, I think he realized what was going on. So he's going to Will-O-Wisp us. Will-O-Wisp is going to burn us, and that's going to lower our attack immensely. That cuts it in half. Um, we are going to take the burn damage, and we are going to go ahead and get a third layer of spikes. Up. Why not? I mean, if he's going to let us and not burn us, we might as well. He's going to run Pain Spin. At this point, I think I have lower health. And sure enough, just by a little bit, just by a little bit, I have lower health. Um, actually, higher health. So we end up losing health. We're going to go ahead and run C-Bomb just to get an idea of how much damage we're going to do. And as, as you see there, we did nothing. So it's like, oh, God. He's going to run Destiny Bomb. 
And that's okay. That's okay. He ran Destiny Bomb. We are going to take a burn. And now we got to decide, do we really need to keep Guam in or not? He's going to run another Sludge Bomb. And we've got Bulletproof up, so that's not going to do much. We're going to go ahead and roar him out and hope we get something touching the ground to take some damage here. Here comes Dawn Fan, taking some stone rated damage, which isn't going to do much. The Spice are going to do a little more than stone damage, but it's not going to be a lot. And that's unfortunate. Dawn Fan's going to go down to a quarter health. I'm going to take a burn damage. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, what move do I want to use? He's going to run Ice Shard. That's going to be super effective. As you can see there, bam. Now, I'm going to use Seed Bomb this turn. What I was thinking again later was I probably should have ran Drain Punch, even though that was super effective. We got the crit hit, which was nice. But, you know what? It, it's, it's a decision we made. We'll live with it. There's an Ice Shard, and at this point, I believe he is up 3 to 5. So it's like, dang, this is tough. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to send out Porygon to our man, our main man. We're going to trace a Sturdy, which is nice to have, especially if you have full health. Now, he's going to run Earthquake. Earthquake isn't going to do terribly much, but it's still going to do a lot. That Stab Earthquake. We're going to go ahead and get that Ice Beam off. That's going to finish off the Dawn Fan, bringing it to, I believe, 3-4 at this point. So Dawn Fan's going to faint, and the question is, is what's he going to bring out next? He brings out Dave. Dave's not here. It's the Dragonite. Now, since we got Stones up, we're going to go ahead and break through that multi-scale, and now he's in big trouble. He's going to go ahead and run that Dragon Claw, hoping to do enough on our Porygon too. but we are, we're bulky. We're fat. We're nice and fat. We get this Ice Beam off, and down goes Dave. So Dave is gone. So he's going to faint at this point. I'm actually very happy he didn't run Roost. Roost would have been killer. So he's going to send out Weezing now. Weezing's going to take that Stealth Rocks damage, and then we're going to go ahead and recover just to make sure we get some health back here. And see where we stand after this. So we're recovering. Weezing's going to use Sludge Bomb. That's going to hurt, but not as much as we were thinking. So here comes a Will O' Wisp. We avoid it like a ninja, and we're going to T Wave the darn thing. Now I was thinking, yeah, I could burn it, but T Wave is my best option for my planned attack. So we're going to Ice Beam it just to see what's going on here. And our Ice Beam does so much more than we expected. Here comes that Will O' Wisp. Willow happening right now. That burns us. So that's unfortunate for us. Now, we're going to go ahead and just Ice Beam away, knowing that he's got Destiny Bond on. We're going to Ice Beam, and we don't think it's going to take him out. Here comes the Ice Beam, and fortunately, it does not. So here comes the Destiny Bond. That sucks. At this point, we're thinking, okay, well, we might as well go down. We're okay with going down with this if we need to. We're going to go ahead and use Recover. Because, you know, if we have a chance to get it, we might as well. And if he gets paralyzed, we'll be good to go. Take him out. And sure enough, Weezing was paralyzed. You want to talk about luck. He's paralyzed right there. We're back at full health. We're going to ice beam him and get him out of there. So immediately, Weezing is gone. Really lucky there because a pain split would have absolutely wrecked right now. So down goes Weezing. And next coming up. So it's 3-3 at this point, I believe. He's going to send out Charizard. Charizard coming in. He's going to take a whole bunch of stealth rock damage. Whole bunch. There's the drought action. But since we paralyzed them, now we're going to be able to move first. We're going to go ahead and throw a Thunderbolt down on Charizard, hoping that's going to be enough to take it out. Thunderbolt does a massive amount, but not quite enough. But he's paralyzed. The hacks are in my favor here against the exception, fortunately for us. And we're going to go ahead and rain another Thunderbolt to take out the Charizard. So now, all of a sudden, we turn the tables. We're up 3-2. Um, but he still has a good chance. Still has a good team there. Now... The whole point of this team, of course, is to paralyze and make way for our for our um, Toad Kiss. So at this point, he's going to send out Gardevoir. He's going to take a little more Stealth Rock damage. And we're going to go ahead and throw a T-Wave here. That way, we can go ahead and slow him down to make room, of course, for our Toad Kiss. Here comes a Moon Blast from the Gardevoir. It's going to take us down to a low health position right now. Look at that. Ugh. We're going to T-Wave it, though, because we have to. We have to. And actually, I believe this is his last poke, so let me rephrase that. So Gardevoir is paralyzed. We're going to take a burn. At this point, if Gardevoir is paralyzed, great. We'll do some damage here. We're going to go ahead and throw this Ice Beam. It's going to do a little bit of damage. Not enough to take it out. But it's going to go ahead and run Moon Blast. It is going to finish our, off our Porygon too. But that's okay because that allows for us to get a clean switch here on the exception. We're going to go ahead and send out Togekiss here. Which is our main reason for paralyzing everything. And we do what we do best. We're going to Air Slash away. Now, Gardevoir is able to break through the Para Flinch and get the Thunderbolt off. And to make it worse, get the Para on my on my Tokus. And I'm like, you're kidding me, right? 
Oh my goodness. Now, let me rephrase it. It's actually 2-1 now that I remember at this point in the battle. It's going to run a Moon Blast. It's not enough to take us out. And we do get the Air Slash. And that's going to be enough to finish off Gardevoir. My last poke would have been my um, Quagsire. But, you know, Gardevoirs do run Grass Attack. So, I would have probably been sunk. So, good battle there with the exception, guys. If you haven't done so yet, check out his YouTube channel. And check out his Twitch channel. Alright, remember the road may be rough, but the dream will be unforgettable. Until next time, guys. Catch them all.